Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Cordant. We're back for some more Pillars of Eternity with the Triple Crown difficulty settings. So we are currently in the Greaves Rest, I think that's how they pronounce it. Uh, we're taking a break from adventuring, just to come over here, rest, complete some quests, and also to talk to some other named characters that we haven't met yet, and also do some quests in this area. So right now we're going to talk to these two, which is Birthwen and Andret and see if they have some kind of quest for us. Hey there, good timing. You can watch me trounce Birthwen. Hi, let's see it then. Once, Andred, you won once. What are you playing? Orland's Head, that's kind of a messed up <laughs> name. Andred greens sheepishly, that's uh, what they call it anyhow. Smooth. You pick a target, see, nose or ears. Nose is worth more, but you've got two ears to work with. You get less points the further out from the target you get. So for the mouth and eyes. No points if you miss. Fancy a game? Three throws each and whoever gets the most points by the end of it wins the wager. I'll put down 50 pens if you will. Ah, oh, this is probably something to do with perception, so my rogue is gonna win anything. Sure, I'll play. <laughs> Poor Orlan. Andred pulls a throwing knife from his belt, turning it over in his hands. Wagers 50 pans, you win? Let's play. Good man. I'll go first just to show you how it's done. Andred aims carefully and throws his blade. The knife hits the fur, scoring two. Andred walks up to retrieve the knife. Your turn. Uh, so... We have the most points on the nose or the ears, but I'm gonna go for the nose. The knife hits the nose, scoring 10. Yeah, buddy. Andred aims carefully and throws his blade. The knife hits the nose, scoring 10 as well. Andred walks up to the knight, your turn, let's go for the nose again. 10 more points. Andred throws his blade, hits the fur, scoring 2. My turn again, nose, again a 10, and that's 30 for you and 14 for me. Not bad, stranger, looks like you win this one. Here's your prize, guess I ought to get some practice. Wait, was that it? Ah, it's our ogre slaying friend. Have they crowned you king of stalwart yet? My friend doesn't mean to be an ass, sir, it just comes natural. <laughs> What? I'd want a crown. Uh, let's play Ornan's head. Do I have other prizes? Okay, let me just do this quickly. No, we can just win 50 thingies each time, I think. So, blah, blah, blah. Wow, so if you want to do this... Really? It doesn't change? Okay, so you can just... If I go for the ears... Oh, I missed! Well, go for the nose again. Wait, I'm missing more often now. Oh. Wait, it gets harder and harder. Will the, the reward change at some point? Let me see here. Yeah, I, I'm missing now. I don't know why. Okay. Good. And I won. <gasps> oh! Okay, this was worth it. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Flick of the wrist. What is it? What is it? Oh! It's only for daggers or stilettos. I'm sad. Your time spent playing Orland's Head in Grief's Rest is paying off, granting an accuracy bonus with all daggers and stilettos. It kind of makes sense. I'm just sad it's, just, it's not just like a, you know, a, a passive accuracy buff. Okay. Well, we've spoken to those two gentlemen. And now we're going to go for... A lovely drop quest. So this is from the drunk outside. Rayfald is desperate for a taste of Fenland liquor. 
and the only source of it is Efric's private and zealously guarded stocks. So this guy is outside, he wants a bottle of this, and you can either just come over Back to the hand, innkeeper and tell him that Rayfald asked me to steal his liquor, and this will just end the quest, or you can go along to have a little bit more of a, a longer quest. We're gonna do that. Because I like exploring the quests, I don't like to just go for the easy way out. I don't think the rewards are anything special, but still. Oh, there's a named guy here. Teen Lake. <laughs> the hero of the hour, he laughs. Hey, Frick sent you down to check on us. We aren't causing trouble, on my word. Who are you? Teen Lake. He raises his mug. Humble fisherman. Though with the ogres coming down all the time, well, I'd sooner fish for truth down a bottle for the time being. Don't suppose where you, you know where a man could find some fen liquor? All Efric's best is over there, but I wouldn't, friend. It's a mess of traps and I should know. Nearly took my eyebrows off. <laughs> Ten League points a finger toward the nearby shelves. What are you playing? Dozens. Care to test your luck? Each of us puts down 50 pens. Three wins and you take the 100. Could explain the rules if you like. Okay, what's the rules? I'm wondering if we'll also get a trade for this. It's simple enough. Winner takes all. We roll three dice each. Get three fours and that's a dozen. Beats all the other rolls. You roll anything else that, that sums to 12. That's a towers. Second best. You roll any other tri triples. That's a god hammer. You get a pair. That's witnesses. 1, 2, and 3 is the saint. That's the lowest. Any other roll is talkers. Doesn't amount to anything, so you roll the dice again. You get it? Okay, so this is just a RNG game. I'll play. He reaches forward to gather up his dice. Right, here we go. Coins on the table. We pay the money. I'll let you go first since you're new. You cast dice. 1, 2, 4. Talkers. So we gotta repeat the roll. 144, four, witnesses value 1. So 8, 9. Your turn. Okay, he rolls the dice. 5, 6, 6. Ah, my witnesses beat your witnesses. Looks like I win. That's kind of weird. Let's roll again. I got a god hammer. He got talkers. God hammer. Uh, we tied, towers value 5, witnesses value 2, I won, there's even more, okay, I got witnesses, he got witnesses, dude this is very long, this, what, the saint, witnesses, so he wins, and the game is mine. Don't take it too hard, friend. You can always try again. Uh, uh, okay. Let, let's do this again. But we're gonna go quickly here. I think I can just press one, right? Yeah, I can just press one. Let's see who wins. Ah, uh, what a game. So interactive. <laughs> Roll the dice. Wait, did I win? No, we lost again. Dude, I want to win one. Spam one! We won! Yay! Okay. So, the previous time it took three games to get defeat. I won again. But yeah, we can just spam one and this is done. Uh, looks like he wins. Okay, come on. Yes! We were granted the dozens luck. Okay, so very cool. I didn't know about this before. What is this? Dozens luck. Self, 4% of incoming crits converted to hits. Okay, these are just hey. minor passive buffs. Still a little god. There's something ahead. 
Still, I will take it. Really? You guys can detect me from all the way over there? Oh my god, they can. Let me put my boots of stealth to see if it makes a difference. Grain. Come on, man, don't Careful. spot me. Oh. It's very particular about his wines. Well, he's voiced with the warning? That's kind of interesting. Oh, hidden object. Okay, so here they cannot see me. It's finished. This is some cool experience, actually. It's finished. It's finished. Money and the scroll of rolling flame. We have a potion of infused with vital essence and ale. Fenlon liquor. This bottle is wrapped in a bright stamped label declaring it to be a bottle of Fenlon liquor. Fenlon liquor is distilled exclusively in the small red southern town of Fenlon, which sits on a rocky pr promontory overlooking a marsh. The liquor is distilled from local figs and flavored with a blend of marsh plants, resulting in a sweet tasting spirit that is popular both locally and abroad. Yeah, distilled from figs, that would be cool. It does seem appealing. Okay, let's take all of this. But there's also a hidden thing over here. Oh, a ruby. Okay, I can take this as well. Oh, okay, no, I'm gonna get caught stealing if I go there. Can I, can I... Okay. Maybe like this I'll be able to get that. But they detect me quite quickly. Okay, let's take off fast mode. Yeah, I, okay, I cannot, I cannot get up there. Okay. Maybe if it's night time I can come here and nobody will be playing. Odd place for the game. Is it? Efric doesn't like me making a ruckus upstairs, so I get the cellar to myself, provided I don't go digging in his stores. That's a fair bargain, right, lads? We have our fun. Okay, so if that's it... Hey. Let's just continue. I cannot loot that cupboard just yet. But we do have the liquor. So we can at least advance our quest. And we also advance the quest for the Orland there. He's a slave. And we need to kill the slaver. Have I spoken to you? Oh, okay. Good work with your ogres. She's just a bard. And I can also complete the quest for the bounty that we did in Russetwood? Or was it Durgan's Battery? I think it was Durgan's Battery. <laughs> Let's actually start with that one. He nods. Been keeping an eye on town here. You uh, found anything out near long watch for me? He coughs into his hand. Oh, he also wants the Thermal Pearl, that's right. Mestla of the Sisterhood of the Scaled sc of the Slaked Skull is dead. He grins. Kinda ironic, isn't it? She went around killing people for Barath, and in the end, that's what... Oh, never mind, just take the bounty. He passes you a bag that rattles with coin. Okay, 3000 copper and 6000 experience. Cool. That's one task done. Please, tell me you found it. I've got a craving like you wouldn't believe. Under lock and key is an understatement. Wait, really? You did it! Oh, thank the... Thank you! This is going to be great! Oh, oh and here, here's the money I promised. Just lower the volume a bit. To the Lord of Cadnua. Rayfald raises the bottle and takes a long drink. Oh, that's, uh... Ah... Uh. That's, that's, that's a bit strange. Here, have a, have... A bout of coughing overtakes his words. Why, why do you curse here, Rayfald? Oh, it's foul. I think that's the worst thing I've ever... Wait, I don't feel so well. Yeah, so one of the options above was, is it poisoned? <laughs> Maybe it is. Did you see that? <laughs> hey, see, I, I think my tongue is going numb. Wait, wait, wait! I can't feel my face. Oh, What's God. happening? Are you okay? 
Rayfold pauses his cheeks and then his nose with increasing desperation. A flailing finger catches him in the eye and he yelps and covers his face clumsily with both hands. I can't... I, I think I bit my... But I can't feel a thing. This has to be Havrick's doing. He must have put something <laughs> in the bottle. Please, you have to help me. If this is a trick, Havrick's bound to have an antidote. Sweet gods, I hope so. Please, <laughs> I'll give you the money I saved up. I'll give you more. Please, just help me. Okay, so let's... Let's go talk to Hafrik. Uh, maybe I can just tell him that he was able to steal the bottle and that I didn't steal the bottle. Otherwise he might be upset with me. And we also collected some money. Okay. Back to warm your hands, eh? What can I do for you? Uh, Rayfold ran afoul of a certain bottle of liquor. So that little bastard finally got <laughs> up the nerve to snatch it, did he? Well, <laughs> serves him right. Maybe he'll think twice about stealing a man's vintage now that he's dribbling all over himself. <laughs> I'm sure he's learned his lesson. Yeah, yeah, I bet he's balling. Look, I dabble in chemicals, but it's never something I can't fix. He's only a few ingredients from a cure. You want to help him out, all you need is a river reed in the heart of an ice troll. You ought to fight both by water. That creek out west, for instance. Uh... <laughs> I've killed ice trolls and I do have a river reed. Uh, I'll go find them. As you like. I still say Ray falls lucky anyone gives a shit about him. That's also true, but wait, don't I have one already? I. Uh, it doesn't look like Back it. To warm your hand, Jay. Yeah, no, I, I don't. Do okay, well, um. I, is it like a specific ice troll or is it a random drop? I think it's it's probably a specific ice troll because there are I haven't seen random drops in this game yet. You have to help me. Ugh. I can't stay like this. I'm working on oh, it, friend. Thank the gods. I'll uh, wait here and hope nobody comes by the talk. <laughs> huh? Okay, so let's go to Russetwood. We do have to kill the slaver that's hunting the Orlan at the inn anyway. So since we're going there. Might as well see if I can find some kind of ice troll. Because the river reed I know I have. It's those long... It's, it's those things like in the, in the image. I don't have my cursor right now. Oh, Zahua finishes escorting supplicant and returns the throne. Okay. Oh, and I also had a book that said something about talking into the lake. Hmm. Maybe at the pond. Don't see many oh. on these roads, and the few we do are hunters, woodcutters, or smugglers. Also, oh, this is the um, the slaver. Okay, I kind of just ran into her. She cocks an eyebrow at you and gives you a half smile. She holds herself with confident grace, a conspicuous holster slung over one hip. Beyond her is a wagon loaded with supplies. Manacles dangle from one end. The fella is it? You're the slaver who's after I love. Well, so much for the subtle approach. <laughs> and here I was thinking we'd found the last pleasant company on the road. I'm after him, all right. Her hand drops to her gun. He's going to answer for his crimes in Raid Saris, and one way or another, you're going to stay out of my way. Wait, his crimes? What crimes? Didn't tell you that part, did he? First off, he chose his indentureship. Had to make up for some bad luck at cards, I hear. She waves her associates down, but her hand remains on her gun. More importantly, he murdered his master's son. Thirteen-year-old boy. Killed him as he fled. Hmm. He should, he should pay for his crime, but... <clears throat> I'm not gonna allow slavers to take him in. He belongs in a prison, not in a slaver's pen. His master sees it differently. She unholsters a pistol. Shame we couldn't do business. Well, okay. I was gonna kill you anyway, bitch, so doesn't matter. Hey there, smack her in the face. Uh, you can debuff them all. 
uh, you can go into melee like that's a ranger so go over there the grieving mother can shoot her i can shoot her with the sap and you can go over there hey that's a lot of enemies okay that's okay uh, so let's turn this on and try to knock her down. Uh, you are gonna buff up. Hey. Okay, so Durance has debuffed them all. Let's do this and then do that, the usual stuff. Yeah, we don't have a lot of damage from the Grieving Mother. Or a lot of focus points, sorry. But she does shoot quicker. Let's see just how quick I can do this. Okay, so. Stun for 9 seconds from my rogue sap. I'm gonna start tossing some books over here. Uh, I'm not concerned with any of these. None of them are spellcasters, so they they can try to hit it there, but they won't be able to hit it there. Uh, she now has enough for an amplified wave, so do it. <laughs> uh, let's start killing that. You just shoot over there. And you shoot over there. And you can give us some accuracy. And you can go occupy this shooty boy over here. We have another amplified wave. Oh right, I'm being I'm being dumb. I should be I should be using the grieving mother to kill these enemies. Not not my other people. Okay, so Grieving Mother, you are going to kill that one. No, 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 stop it, stop it. Just go there. My mind feels okay, good. So shoot this one. Uh, you can do some damage over here. Okay, good. Let's aim at this one. Badly injured badly injured okay so stop 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 uh, knock him down and you back off my mind feels sharp as steel okay let's go no 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 oh, you can still hit him a few a few more times okay good and this is what we do to level up our weapons <laughs> He does shoot fairly quickly. It, it still feels to me like the um, lead spitter is a lot better to generate focus points, but I might as well level up this weapon because I can. My mind feels sharp as steel. Oh, and I also forgot about this. God damn it! Yeah, I have to deal. This would have been an, a, a perfect opportunity to deal damage with the redeemer. All right, Man, then. too many unique weapons. <laughs> I'm not used to having them. Hey. Okay, so what do we have from here? We have fine stuff. Take it all. Take it all. Hello, hearty. Uh, okay, so where am I going to find the heart of an ice troll? These are the... Ah, there we go. Yeah, so I knew it. So this just spawned. This wasn't here before. And these are the river reeds. So, we're gonna stealth. We're gonna send it there in. And he's gonna be alone because we've we've cleared out Russet Wood entirely. Uh, let's sap. Let's buff. Buff. Shoot. shoot. And you can also shoot. Okay. Uh, go shoot. He's injured. I'm gonna try and kill him with the Grieving Mother as well. If I can. So everybody stop and you keep shooting. Come on. Come on. Woman. Please. Oh, oh, oh. He's down. 30 damage. Hey! 
Okay, so this guy should have the... Yeah, there you go. The Ice Troll Heart. So with this, we have completed... Or not completed. We have advanced both quests. The one for the... The Orlan. Being chased by the Slaver. As well as the Drunkard. Oh, I should also speak to the... Um, God damn it, I always get this wrong. I should also speak to the mayor and tell her of our success with the ogres. I forgot about that. Because we did go into the ogre cave and we... We kind of made friends with the ogre matron. We didn't actually kill her. We did kill most of her tribe. <laughs> but that's because I just... I was silly. I could have avoided them. Uh, we have to talk to him to get the antidote, I think. And once we have it, we can deliver it to the drunkard and the quest should complete. I wonder if there's any kind of cool reward for it. Okay. Back to warm your hands, eh? What I found I the ingredients you asked for. Still say a little hardship ought to put some sense into that man. But if you're set on giving him a hand, so be it. Give that here. There. Get him to down that and he'll be right as rain. And you can tell him he owes you one. I would have let him stew for at least a year or so. Jesus. Thank you. Okay. So we have the bubbling antidote. Which should cure our, our well, friend. Not really a friend. Our acquaintance. But I, I'm, I'm hoping you learn this lesson. You have to help me. Ugh. I can't stay like this. Give him the antidote. Here, Hefrek says this ought to do it. Really? Oh, on to bless you. Give it here, please. <laughs> Ugh, frothy. Hey, you did it. I can feel again. He prods his forehead and sticks out his tongue. Oh, thank you. You're a saint among kith. And I owe you one, I know it. I would have ended up a leper. Hefrek never did have any sense of proportion. Hey, here. Now that my hands are working again, Ooh. I've been stitching this together for a while. Least I can give you, really. The pilferer's grip. And now I'm uh, going to stand here and breathe for a little while. <laughs> it sounds like a roguish item. Uh, so, Rayfald is de desperate for a taste of fennel liquor, and the only source of it is Africa's private and Okay. I got the cure from Afric and Reynold is back to normal, for better or worse. He was very relieved and gave me a set of gloves he crafted as a reward. Pilferer's Grip. Minus 10% armor speed penalty and plus 1 to dexterity. This is actually not that bad. Thieves often favor gloves, boots and other clothing that makes them nimbler and stealthier. Gloves like these are smooth and tight-fitting, and the leather pants over the fingers and palms help the wearer grip anything. A narrow ledge, a priceless goblet, a razor-sharp dagger more easily. Uh, let me compare it with what I have. Ah, uh, no, I, I... I've been forgetting to compare this with the other one. So I can either shoot 10% faster or I can shoot 10% harder. I think I'm gonna go for harder. <laughs> I, I, I gotta clear my inventory at some point. Holy crap. It will not be right now, though. Okay, let's go to the mayor's house, which is not there. It's here. We're gonna tell her that we have dealt with the ogres. Uh, not sure if the quest said to go into Durgan's battery or not. Let's see. Uh, yeah. You've been busy since we last spoke. I want to thank you for what you've been doing for Stalwart. Okay, so no. What about you? You did right in parlaying with Baragon. Oh, okay. Don't know that anyone else here is going to see it that way, but I thought you should know. He gives you a thoughtful nod before turning back the fire. Okay, well, um... So which quest did this advance? Is it this one? Ah, yeah, okay. So this is, this is part of the main quest. That's why it didn't finish. Okay, we're gonna go outside and now we're gonna go to the eastern section of the White March. Which, naturally, I don't remember the name. <laughs> I think it's something something falls. Uh, we can go through here, which is closer. Uh, 
Long Watch Falls, okay. At least I got part of the name right. We've cleared out Grosset Wood, we've cleared out the um, surrounding area of Durgan's Battery with the exception of a very specific cave. And now we're in this area. They who... Oops. They who woke the stars added. The quest expires in three days. Constellated Cloak, Major Item. Ooh. The Glenfather astronomers who predicted the Lover's Tide that destroyed Ondra's gift took, two, uh, took many of their instruments and notes and hid them out of fear that they might be captured by Adirans. Decades after the war, the tribes recovered the astronomers' work. Unfortunately, all of the original astronomers had died and much of their writing was penned in an unknown cipher. Two Valian Dukes have offered a reward for anyone who can help crack the cipher for the Glenfadens. The tribes are reluctant to, to let anyone look at the notes, but believe it would be better to share their knowledge than let it remain a secret. Okay, we're gonna assign Palagina to this. A major item, I'm curious about that. And this area, if it contains what I think it contains, is a very dangerous area, so I'm gonna be very careful. There's a soul here. A few odds and ends lie scattered by the path. There appears to have been a struggle here, but the evidence is half buried under a thin blanket of snow. Wisps of essence hover in the chilly air. Let's inspect the area. An empty pack lies in the snow. It's been torn nearly in two. Also, muddy tracks churn the ground. It's difficult to discern their shape or number, but they appear to lead north. Let's reach out for the essence. The soul fragment plunges in you into a memory. Your name is Igadr. Igadr. You've never been more than 20 miles from home, let alone to the White March, and yet you've been climbing steadily higher for a week now. The air is too thin, your clothes are too light, and you've barely got another three days worth of food with you, but you've never felt better. You've only had a handful of fainting spells since you began your journey. You've had as many in a single day before. But the dreams have been the best part. Despite the frozen rocky ground and the screechy winds, sleep has found you each night and brought you visions of majestic peaks wrapped in snow. The cold is but a sweet ache in your bones. And as you hike into the wind, you feel that ache spreading along with the certainty that you're getting closer to him, or her, your soul twin. A stranger whose soul mirrors your own. One of the few people in Eora who could understand the constant torment of a split soul, and the only person who could help you relieve it. Something approaches through the shroud of snow ahead. You feel a throbbing presence like a heartbeat through linen, and you know. The vision ends abruptly. You find yourself staring at Igadr's scattered belongings while his elation ebbs from your veins. Hmm. So maybe something hit him? As his essence fades from you, you feel his eagerness dissolve into disappointment until all that remains is the emptiness of a meaningless death. Yeah, I'm guessing he was ambushed and died. Oh, but we have a quest, he's better half. So, Igadr came to the White March searching for his soul twin, but somebody killed him in the lonely mountain passes. I found the final wisps of his soul in the wilds east of Stalwart. Whoever killed him didn't leave much behind. Although I did see tracks leading north, I might find some trace of Igadr or his murderer in that direction. Well, Hello. I didn't have any oh god, any set direction, so I guess I'm gonna go north. Hello, dude. I think this is a a horrible area. Uh, well, we are fully rested. Although I think this is an area with a tremendous amount of fish people. Hey. And no choke points. Can I make a choke point out of this area here? Let's be very careful here. The <sighs> and there's more oh there's more fish people over there. We have 60 Durgan cogwheels. The settlements across the White March use a variety of bronze coins as currency. These cogwheels were used in Durgan's battery, where they were created in a two-part process. The distinctive cog-shaped planchets were cast in bronze. While cooling, they were struck in iron, uh, in iron dyes. 
the coins are still quite valuable in the eastern reach due to their high copper content. Okay, maybe it's just money. Value 4 CP. Okay. And we also have a Durgan Iron Ingot. This is actually something that I do remember what it's for. And it is used to enchant weapons. This cast pig iron ingot has been lightly refined in preparation for eventual use in Durgan Steel. Without the fire of the White Forge, it has little value. Yeah, but once we get the White Forge going, it's gonna have a lot of value. At least to me. Now, I don't want to fight these guys and have these also join the fight. Uh, ooh. There's a lot of people over here. I want to see if I can kill these before engaging over there. Please don't spot me. Jesus, there's... <laughs> there's so many enemies. This is a bounty. Um, I guess I could try and pull them over here. With a nice shot. And I don't trust these bitter spirits. I don't believe they're here in goodwill. Mm. Hey. Am I gonna pick this up what and they will it? go hostile? It's not trapped. Hey. Ooh, a fine male armor. <laughs> and of course they went hostile. And another soulbound item. The Greenstone Staff. It's usable by a wizard, a druid or a monk. It's exceptional and it grants nature's mark on critical hit, once per encounter. This is not bad, but... Um, I'm not sure if this works with spells. It doesn't say it has to be a direct hit. Hmm. I'm curious about this. A twisted piece of wood grips a glowing other chunk with root-like tendrils. Something about the staff resonates in your soul. When you hold it, you hear the distant whisper of wind through the trees. Okay, let's pick it up. I'm gonna give this to Aloth. Because, yeah. And we're gonna have a fight. So, uh, I guess you can just buff. And you can also buff us up. The Grieving Mother can start shooting, and I can start shooting as well. Following your Not much to say here. There's a Spectre. Oh my god. Okay, well he died. <laughs> Where are you going, dude? God, he moves so quickly with the Boots of Speed. Ah, okay, so we have more Spectres coming in. Uh, he's stunned. I don't know why. Fight. Uh, I guess I'm gonna shoot that spectre with a sap and you shoot this one the grieving mother killed the bitter spirit I guess the bitter spirits are, are easy to kill so that's that's good for the grieving mother uh, no not you oh Shanguela no that that's no longer good let's get an amplified wave over here yes. Let's not let that bitch stun us or paralyze us. Okay. Okay, I, I need to understand what's going on here. Why did she get stunned? The Spectre crits Grieving Mother for 19 freeze damage. These are ranged Spectre. Oh, huh? Yeah, they seem to be ranged Spectres. Okay. I'll go there. Uh, let the Grieving Mother kill the Shangula. And... Oh, she died. She died to deep wounds. That sucks. Okay. Oh! The Grieving Mother killed it. Good. Go for the final one. And... I was thinking about doing something different here, but this will work. Okay. Grieving Mother killed okay. it. 
How close are you from leveling this up? You need 10 more. Oh, we've killed two druids? Very interesting. Okay, but I want to check this out. Um, where is the thing? Thing? Ah, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna pick this up, we're gonna put it over here. Can you even cast spells if you have a stuff in your hand? Because he doesn't okay. have the Grimoire. Okay, yes, he yeah. can. Let's bind the soul, because I'm not going to use any of those. <laughs> Deal 125 damage to beetles with greenstone stuff. Yeah, if it requires me hitting people, it's not really going to work out too well. I mean, it can work, because I have Sitzal's martial power. Hey. Not, but I think that's more of a melee weapon than anything else. Uh, I will try it out though. Hi. I will. And this says... Grants nature's mark on critical hit once per encounter. So if I land a crit with, let, with say, chill fog... Of course. Nice and I expect quiet. to see this uh, proccing. If it does, then this is actually... A, 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 could be a cool weapon for a lot. I don't think it's ever gonna replace the rod of uh, rods of pale shades, but still. Okay, we've cleared out these bitter spirits. So I think now the plan is I'm gonna try and pull those fish people down so that I can fight them down here and not pull them alongside other enemies. The question is, how do I do this? I think I'll use the choke point of, you know, this way over here. And I'll just do a proximity pull, yeah, like that. Okay, so let's back up. Don't you dare. Okay, so everybody's over here. Are they coming around? Well, this is coming around. Uh, oh, there they go. Man, even with vigorous defense, he grazed. Accuracy 84 versus deflection 143. Ah, but he rolled a 75. Oh, okay, I guess that's kind of fair. It's fine, it's fine. Let's buff us up. You buff yourself up. I'm gonna start shooting these lag of. No, I'm gonna shoot this. And you shoot that as well. Let's slow this down. Uh, no, 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 don't go into melee. Um, so yeah, it granted something on a crit. So a chill fog can crit. Let's see if it does crit. Okay. We critted something. It dealt zero damage though. Let me see if I need to crit um, the Lago Fath. You have an amplified wave. This time she was quick to generate focus points. That's good. Let's back up here. Uh, let's saw some books. Uh, I keep forgetting they're immune to crushing damage. And I think I pulled the enemies, but not the, the ones in the back. Which is unfortunate. Okay, well... I don't think I'm gonna bother with this stuff. Just gonna use what works. We're gonna sap that. You're gonna shoot this. Your thoughts must blow my mind. Okay, no need for slow mode here. Uh, you guys work on that. You can debuff them, why not? Oh no, no, no. They are in the fight, they're just back there. You sons of bitches! Come here, fish. There we go. Not you. Okay. Let me let me try and pull them a little further back. Hmm. Um. Come here. Yeah, there you go. That's good enough. What? Dead. 
Go for this. Not you. My mind Dead. Uh, can I pull this guy in? Hmm. Really? You missed? You missed again? What? 86 deflection. That's some very good deflection, I gotta say. Okay. Ooh, but... Alright. So, with the bow, the time parasite can get a lot better. Or is a much better skill, I mean. Let's see how quickly we can shoot here. Yeah, she shoots very quickly. My mind feels sharp as steel. Look at the pew pew. Pew pew. The damage is a little bit pitiful though. Especially, you know, compared to so much for the lead spitter. You. Okay. So you can take all of this. Shh. And now we can go for the bounty without having to worry with the fish people in the back. Fine breastplate. This brazier looks large enough to have held the signal fire once. Alright. And there's, there's two ways I can go about this bounty here. I can either try to choke, choke point them over here or on this corner. But um, if I do it here, they can have the high ground and start shooting me. I think I'm going to use this corner here because they cannot pass through this section. Okay. So I'm actually going to keep my Following party like, like this. Yeah, uh, you come over right. here, you go to the back. I shall. Okay. Hey. And we're going to pull it there. Of course. We're going to do a proximity pull. Because I don't have a ranged weapon right now. Unstealth. Okay, they saw me. Paladins and Disciples. We're gonna quickly run back here. Actually, I should be here. Yeah, this was not well planned by me. <laughs> uh, you go there. Okay, yeah, let's, let's bring them in. Let's make them clump up around this area here. Okay, slow down, <laughs> and let's buff. I'm gonna do this, do that, do this, and that. Uh, you can start shooting. You can start shooting. Okay, because we do have line of sight for this. Vigorous defense, and start working on this monk. There's a lot of people coming in. It is to be expected. Okay, good. We're going to toss out a chill fog back here. We're going to hit everybody, which is going to be glorious. Let's hope this doesn't knock either prone, because it might. It did not. Wonderful. A good chill fog. I don't want them to circle me around completely, because this is a disadvantage of doing it here rather than here, because here they, they got to funnel through. Here they can go around. There's a lot of monks. Uh, we are going to... Have Kana off tank. He can go fight that guy. The Grieving Mother, though, she has an amplified wave, which is going to be glorious, beautiful, and all those things. You are going to debuff them all once you are done with your current spell. And Mr. Aloth, what are you going to do? Oh, baby. Yeah, I think I know what I'm going to do. Nina Goth's Shadow Flame here should hit everybody, but not it there, hopefully. <laughs> yes! Man, this spell is so good. This spell is so good. Okay, so let's see. We have a bunch of disciples which are monks, don't care about those. Ulmar is also a monk, don't really care about him. Although I can focus on him. This guy is trying to, I think, kick Kana back, which sucks. And then we have the priestesses, which... I guess we could say are the 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 big threats here. But I'm just gonna stun this one to see if she doesn't wreak too much chaos in my backline here. My amplified wave is gonna go off right now. Hopefully this guy will get stunned. I'm just gonna start dealing some raw damage over here. 
with a book and a book and then just start blasting. The paralyzation doesn't last too long in this case. Some of them were only for 4 seconds, well, I mean, 8 seconds. There's just a few of them which got grazed only. Oh, <laughs> this is just so good. Man, if there were ever a question about why I like playing these games, th this is the answer. Being able to do this kind of thing, it's, it's glorious. It's just glorious. Okay, well, we killed that guy. This guy is badly injured and stunned for 4.5 seconds. Prone, paralyzed. Uh, let's sap this priestess here, see if we can finish it off. Well, he's dead. Lava. <laughs> and in the meanwhile, they're all on top of the... Um, of the chill fog. Let's do some damage here. Okay, so you hit this guy, you shoot this guy. Okay, shoot that. Well, Alof killed them both, and I killed the other one. Oh well. We shall have to do damage sometime in the future. Ninagot's Grimoire! That's kind of an amazing pickup, is it not? Yes, it is. Ooh. Okay, so we have a lot of um, normal items, but we have a, a very sneaky item over here. The Sandals of the Forgotten Friar, plus two to unarmed damage, and also grants Blessing of the Forgotten to per rest. Ah, okay, I already have this. The followers of the Winding Path believe in walking to see all that the world holds. Many of them take a strict vow of silence and travel with only the most basic supplies. They may camp each night without knowing where the next day will take them. When they arise, they choose their route based on their dreams. Because of their itinerant nature, it's common to find their personal effects and their remains left in the wilderness or by the side of the road. Okay, so take all of that. Take all of that and all of that. Nice and quiet. Pretty cool. I do love monks in this game. Uh, I don't usually pay too much attention to monks in CRPGs. Maybe it's a, a problem. Oh, come on. Why didn't you join the... Uh, come on, guys. Why didn't you join the fight? God damn it, man. I don't like it when they do this. Let's see if I can paralyze this one and stun this one. Well, he's stunned for 3.2 seconds. You go over there. You tank this guy. Okay. Paralyzed for 10 seconds or 11 seconds. Let's try and do some damage here with my, with my sword. Sap this guy. Shoot this guy. And you don't shoot. Okay, he's stunned. Badly injured already. Man, Eder doesn't do much damage with this though. 14 damage per hit. It's kinda crappy. Wow, 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 what the hell? How did they heal so much? 133 endure plus 65 endure healing chain. I don't know what Healing Chain is, but by the name it sounds like it bounces between friends. They got completely healed again. That's kind of amazing. Well, let's just kill them then. Although they're not really doing much damage to it there. Let's see if I can just knock them down. Okay, so knock down, prone for 5 seconds, 5 seconds. And I have another Amplified Wave if I need it. So just do some damage here. Four damage there, really. Blam! Four damage. My mind feels <laughs> Knock them down again. Okay. Hit the knockdown guy. You shoot this one. I have one more amplified wave already. Well, I mean, there is dealing damage. 
None shall stop us. Okay, sorry, sorry for the for taking some time here, but I'm gonna take the opportunity to level up my weapons where I can. Yeah, keep on healing. Dude, but 4 damage each time, 5 damage, 6 damage. You're better than this there, come on. Ooh, 13! I'm gonna give him some accuracy with my rogue here, with my passive. And this one as well. Okay. And this is why you should be able to have fast mode even during combat. Because this takes too long. <laughs> Six damage. Oh my god, man. Get some focus points for another amplified wave, please. Okay, hit this one now. Because he's prone. Ah, we hit at least. 14, woohoo! 13! 15! Amazing. Oh, I should have buffed them as well. What? I forgot about this, sorry. Okay. Oh, nice repulsing seal. Okay, I think this is enough. I'm just gonna start killing them now. Uh, let's let the grieving mother get the kills. Okay, good. Your will, I shall end. Okay, near death, so just stop, swap, kill. Okay. Okay, okay. Hey. So you guys were actually useful for something. They shall see nothing while I see much. And apologies for, for these sections because they do take a while and you know it's kinda boring. <laughs> but it's it's a way to do it. Well we've already got six hundred damage almost. So it's actually gonna be leveled up quite quickly. And this lady is only missing seven enemies. Hey. Okay. Let me see. I think this is the, the danger bridge that I mentioned previously. So I think I will simply end the episode here. Because then we have fish people over here. I believe we have fish people over there. Man, and if this is what I think it is, it's also going to be very dangerous. Like I said, I have nightmares with the fish people. So, forgive me. <laughs> but I am going to have to be careful. Well, in any case, we are going to end this episode here. Uh, so, as always, thank you so much for being here with me, watching some Pillars of Eternity. I hope you guys are enjoying the journey. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more. There are videos coming out every single day. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone. I shall leave you with How the piggy.